Hello, you beautiful little saplings. How are you today? Well, I hope. Uh, I'm all right. Uh, sun is shining. Uh, it's all good. I mean, the sun might not be shining when you're watching this. Who knows? That's the beauty of weather. Now, I'm Carrie Quinlan. As you know, I am Doctor of Stuff and Things at the University of Things and Stuff. And with Professor Andy Stanton, I do Ask the Nincapoops podcast and teach children lots of amazing things. Um, now, we can't do the podcast as normal at the moment, so we're doing these videos and we're teaching you lots of amazing stuff from St. Dictionary's Book of Weeds. Okay, today's word is reminder. Reminder. Now, a reminder obviously is something that reminds you to do something. So you set it, uh, you set it on your phone or you set it on your grown-ups. You say to your grown-ups, oh, can you remind me to do that thing? Sometimes you don't even have to tell them. Um, they'll just remind you anyway. It's a bit annoying when they keep going, have you, have you remembered to do your homework? I didn't need the reminder, actually. You normally did. But all that sort of thing. So that's a reminder, is when someone tells you, oh, don't forget, don't forget that thing. And it's, reminders are incredibly important. They've been important throughout history. Uh, for example, for example, um, Werberg king of Poland um uh he was king of Poland oh when was he king of Poland about oh, 14 ish he was about yeah king of Poland um around 14 ish he um was very forgetful very forgetful and people would have to say to him oi king oi king because they were quite you know disrespectful in those days they didn't have the same sort of uh your highness um terminology it was like oi king oi have you uh, have you remembered to uh, lock the palace gates? And you go, oh no, I've forgotten again. Oh God, thanks for the reminder. And that meant that Poland wasn't overrun by ostriches um, in fourteen ish, because you know he's they'd reminded him to lock the gates. He went down, he locked the gates, and the ostriches couldn't get in. Now, had they not reminded him, had they missed that reminder, gates unlocked, ostriches everywhere whole place covered in eggs, people slipping around all over the shop would have been an absolute disaster and Poland would not be where it is now. I mean, it, it would be where it is now. It would be, you know, in between Russia and Germany. But I hope that's true. Uh, it would be there, but it would be just covered in feathers. So reminders are extremely important. The other, the other of course, great reminder from history. I mean, there are many. There are so many to choose from. Which one am I going to choose? Am I going to choose? I'm going to choose an Egyptian one. So from 5000 BCE in Egypt, the uh, great pharaoh Monka Tonkin um, was, also, was also very forgetful. Now, Monka Tonkin was a uh, pharaoh of all she saw. Um, which wasn't actually very much because apart from having a terrible memory, awful eyesight, really bad, and they hadn't invented glasses, so basically she could see sort of about to there. Beyond there, a blur. There, oh, fingers. There, no idea. Fingers, nothing. Fingers. So, um, quite unlucky, Monka Tonkin, um, to, that she couldn't see very well. Um, everything was quite blurry, um, which also doesn't help you remember anything because because you're concentrating you're just trying to make out what what anything what anything is but very importantly she lived by the Nile and people had to remind her had to remind her to bring her washing in so that it didn't get um washed away by the Nile River when it flooded and had she not been reminded to bring her washing in um, it would have all got washed away. Uh, she'd have she'd have had no sheets, no duvet cover. Would have been awful. She'd have slept really badly. She'd have been put in an extremely bad mood, and um, she'd have executed loads of people. So uh, very important that they reminded her to get her duvet cover off the line before the Nile flooded. Otherwise, there'd be no Egyptians. So um, these things are extremely important reminders throughout history have absolutely changed the way we live, the world we're in. And uh, remember to do your homework. Remember your times tables. Remember Mother's Day and Father's Day, um, if appropriate, when appropriate. 
Remember those things. Remember birthdays. Remember Christmas. Remember you're a womble. Google it. And uh, come back next time for more exciting uh, wordage from St Dictionary's Book of Words with Andy Stanton. And if you want to listen to us in Ink and Poop, so why wouldn't you? It's brilliant. You can find links to it just below this here image of my face. Take care, team. Whatever that means. <laughs>